Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Hand of Fate. So, I've determined that these statues in the background have to be randomized uh, because we haven't selected the boss we're going to fight yet from this screen. And if there was only one remaining, I would only have one statue there. How bad one. my cabinet now looks. I have saved much for this moment. So you don't select the boss until here, and there's only two bosses remaining. So if each one of those statues in the background were supposed to be a boss, there would only be two statues, and I see have seen three. So, King of the Plague. Are you a religious person? Now is the time for prayers. The King of Plague will kill you and lick the fat from your bones. This is new. This is all new. Did I thought I was on the final boss, but I guess I've forgotten where I was. It has been repetitive enough that that would make sense. Let's throw in as many new items as we can, and then throw out any old items. So now I have a massive amount of other things to get rid of, like Ring of Punishment, Ring of Survival, Ring of Justice, Ring of... what does this one do? Double food, but half the gold, no. Uh, Plumber's Ring, Holy Ring, Goblin Ring of Pain, that doesn't sound good. Get rid of this one, and that one, and that one, that one. What does the occult reflection do? Every third blow is reflected. Chains of Rage. Skeletons, Kings, Shield. Oh, now I've, I've got, like, two few. I wasn't paying attention there. Uh, let's see, what's the one thing I would like to throw back in? Goblin King Crown? Sure. We'll throw that in. And so that's our equipment modified. And then we still haven't gotten the Goblin Hunting Party eliminated. The labyrinth is going to be a nightmare to get done. I don't want this. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. And so, like, we have these new cards that I guess I want to throw in. And then I would also like to include all of these. So, we'll give it a noble trader, we'll give it the shop. Uh, maze of traps, I don't really want that one, I don't really want. Let's see. We'll give it of the hero's return because that's actually useless. And this one. Some of those default cards that they're suggesting don't make a lot of sense actually so we're ready to go for the king of plague and it feels like this is the first time we've done this one either that or we simply just didn't get very far I think I may have gotten oh I ran into the minotaur last time that's what happened it's been a day so I've slept and forgotten what I was doing. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. <laughs> so, surprise portal. 
immediately. Without warning, a magical portal opens beneath you and you fall through it. As you tumble between realities, you catch a glimpse of faraway lands and realms without any meaning to your mortal mind. After an unknown period of time, you fall gracefully back into your original universe. Hmm. So... At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. Already we've come across two new cards, which is, I think, what we'll probably end up accomplishing in this run, unless I get really lucky. Just getting these I will happily new wager encounters. on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. You enter a cave intended to shelter from a heavy storm when you discover sides that it's already inhabited by monsters. Boldly enter the cave, try to hide in the cave, leave the cave. Let's just boldly enter. You yell challenge into the darkness and strike confidently into the card cave. Weapon ready. Draw two monster cards. Four of dust and the jack of plague. So already we're in a fight, and this looks like a new area again. A lot of different areas. It seems like a massive amount of extra areas, really. So I need to kind of clean up this area. Get less characters eliminated. Now with the Berserker Ring, I suppose I regain health every six hit. So that means something like fighting a super powerful boss, as long as I can get hits in, would actually help me regain my health and stay alive. As long as I can avoid hits and get hits in. You search the entire cave and loot what remains you find. The dealer draws one game card. Draw two, keep one. And do we want the mithril? Yes. Heavy armor with no Armor speed like cruelty. this was exotic in my day. I imagine it is positively unheard of in yours. Hmm. We will take really? that mithril. Is that what you're going to do? But I didn't get the coin, so that was the wrong thing. So you spent time with the druids after all. So now we're doing the Summer Solstice Druids storyline. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. The druids wanted me to make sure they didn't get interrupted during their rituals. You make way to the sacred stones at midday on the Summer Solstice. The druids still clad head from toe and long robes are standing quietly on the stones waiting for you one of them speaks we are ready to begin you pace the perimeter of the stones while the druids form a circle and begin chanting soon their low and drone their low droning attracts the attention of some ratmen the dealer draws two monster cards wow so, 12 Ratmen, theoretically at least, will actually be 12 characters on the screen. Um, it kind of looks like there's only 8. Maybe that's part of the problem, is that this game actually couldn't handle the numbers they were thinking of doing. Which very well may be the case, because I have seen a couple of things go awry with the animation. Getting this much detail on the screen at once is a bit of a challenge.
but they get it done. That felt like 12. When the rat men dispatched, you turn back to check on the progress of the druid ceremony. They appear oblivious to you, absorbed in their chanting, and the ritual continues. Your skirmish with the rat men seems to have brought you to the attention of a group of bandits. The dealer draws two monster cards. Huh? Three of dust and three of dust. Now, I don't refill my health any. But I'm at 95 of 110, so I should be fine. Let's go ahead and skip this. These guys are a little bit easier to take out. It seems like when you have a reflect, everybody else just freezes. Now I'm back to 110. I believe there's a ring or something that would give me gold for every extra bit of health I have over my maximum. The druid ceremony ends as you defeat the last of the bandits. You have completed your task. Here's your reward. You draw three gains cards and the token is now yours. Hmm. I don't think it's probably worth it to do two fights I'm sure for you're three grateful for that. gains cards. The next ceremony must take place at dusk a week from now. Will you be here? So same location, just different time. Ah, the tavern. Again, we find you in a tavern. Hmm. There's a token in it for you if you win. In a tavern you meet a sheets captain. Pirates have taken over my ship, the drunken wench. Help me reclaim her, and I shall share whatever treasure you remains in hold. Help. So this is the one you have to get a huge success on or you don't get the token. There we go. I'll take that huge success. When you reach the pier, you inquire about the drunken wench and only to discover it bereaved at an then what is it it bereaved at a, an abandoned jetty i'm sorry lad i swear i didn't leave her here yesterday that's the last time i drink dulcet brandy for sure the shame-faced captain gives you some supplies for your trouble the dealer draws you two games cards so what that is very strange. I think I've gotten success and huge success on that. And it still didn't give me the token. I, I wonder if I should just refuse. That's my next move, I suppose. Golem home hunting party. We know what that is. We have to defeat this challenge three times in a single session. And you have to get lucky. Charge in the battle. The lava golem. I'm trying to move a little bit faster. I thought that was a one of Oh, I'm going to have to be real careful here. So I can only get like a couple of hits in there before I need to roll out of the way. Fortunately, a dodging roll appears apparently all you need. Moving forward to the next one. I could, I, I suppose, approach the shop since I'm 65. 
I could probably sell or buy something. But I want to move fast. It's kind of gotten pointless to hold back. That's the immovable object. I have the mithril. I think the weapon or the helmet. After each encounter, all abject encounter cards are briefly revealed. And adjacent encounter cards. Interesting. Keep your eyes open, and your fate may become clearer. So, that is an interesting thing to have. And so I'll get rid of this. And then I'm at 34. Can I buy this shield? Yes, I can. What will you do with that? And so now I have this new helmet that's going to show me encounters. I can sell my shield. And then I'm at 26. Now I'm at 7 gold. So I can even buy one food. There we go. Better than trudging along a muddy road, certainly. I have something that. Do tells you understand me what it is we do now, or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? So we know we're going to do another lava golem fight. Not that you really have a choice. Only on that final level does it make sense to have this ability. So one of Lava Golems. Messed up there. Success, good, go. So I can... I need to take out this fight and one more of these fights. And then I'll be happy. Taking too much damage here. Local villagers give you some food. And then you always have that lava golem thing there. I don't know what the deal with that is. Are you a cynic or a romantic? Hmm. So we did the lover's card before. Offer the help. Let's demand payment this time. After sharing a look of his betrothed. The young man thinks for long and hard before reaching his decision. We have nothing of value to offer but our wedding rings. If they must be sacrificed for our love, so be it. Draw one equipment card. Nice. Player receives 50% more healing from consuming food. Nice. He gives you a second magical ring saying, This ring belonged to my mother. Whenever the player sells an item, they receive plus two food. Excellent. We continue. And we're hoping for a success. Take that success. Keeping your back always, you managed to reach the outskirts without an incident. Thank you, stranger, the couple exclaims as they flee to the into the countryside. So no real problem with taking the less than honorable choice there since there was no token available 
I wasn't going to get a token or move the story forward. We could have ended up in a bigger fight, but that's about it. Helpful priest. Wandering priest. Give him half my food, which is quite a lot. Let's go for a huge success. Hmm. Huge failure. He points at you and starts a chant. I get to chant strange words. You begin to feel sick and dizzy. Finally he stops. I don't think I'm doing this right. Draw two curse cards. In every combat, ah, the last that is enemy one of my favorites. Is in, can't be stunned or interrupted. That's awful. The first hit I worked in every combat long and hard to make that damage. particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? Nope. I don't agree. Okay, we go to the shop. Approach the shop. So I desperately would like to now, like, get rid of those curses, but I don't think I can, so maybe just food? Can't even afford the food? I guess it didn't matter. I had only three gold. I thought I had more. The way things are laid out is wrong. It, it really is. I know it's a card game and I know they want to show me your hands like this, but if the text was bigger, if it was just an on-screen display, it would work so much easier to read. Right, move on to the next card, the trading post. Hmm. He'll trade for food. I don't want a helmet, I don't want a shield, and I don't want armor. Hmm. Let's go with armor, I guess. We get armor and we have one food now. This armor gets stronger every time over my mithril. Now I'm totally out of food. So I'm set for its starvation. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? See, and that's the problem. Think about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. I want to go to the graveyard even though it's going to probably be a bad result. Because I'm more cursed than I am blessed. Every one of them with their own monument to passing. Quite poignant, really. In an old abandoned graveyard, the Vestal Spirits sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend a peaceful night, awakened, well rested, and fully recovered from your wounds. This college token is now yours. So apparently, you needed just any blessing, even one. It wasn't you needed the more blessings than you had curses. Right. Battle practice is new. You return to your old training grounds and agreed to give demonstration of combat for new recruits. The captain of the guard gestures at to some cages. Who do you want to fight? What are some more options? The captain brings forth more captives. Lizardmen, mages, more options. Lich and Lava Golem. Hmm. Well, we'll just take on some, like, skeletons, I guess. 
Seems like battle practice seems to not really potentially give you much of a difference here. Maybe if I chose something stronger I would get a bigger reward, but I don't even know if I'm going to get a reward at all. Not a difficult fight. Now he's probably going to tell me that was a pathetic fight and I get no reward. The captain guard gives you some coin in payment. Draw one gold gain card. 15 gold. Let's see. I kind of have to go forward, don't I? monster card give them all my gold or just attack them no I'll just attack them it's not like there's specifically too much to handle two dust and two scales <laughs> There we go, almost go. It is starting to get a little repetitive. Just because this section of the game, the fighting, is so different from the rest of the game. You start to get the feeling, oh yeah, every time I'm in this, see this animation, every time I do this, all I'm going to do is fight and hit X quite a lot, which is exactly the case. Holy Ring or Assassin's Creed. Uh, let's go with the Holy Ring. I never liked the undead myself. Dispatch them to their rightful place. Interesting. He wants 40 gold, so decline. So, how much food do I have? None. So Fasting does have a way of focusing the mind. Let's approach the shop. We need Finally, food. Finally, an opportunity to eat. So... Sell items. Mithril for 20. After killing an undead, receive that. We'll sell this for 5. Whenever a player sells an item, they receive 2 food. See 50% more feeling from consuming food. Do I really need that? No. All shops are revealed when entering a new region. We can sell that one. All encounter cards are revealed upon reaching the next stairs. We don't need that. Maybe six kills. So, what curses could I remove now? Surprise attack. The last enemy. So I've got 10 food by selling my objects, and that actually helped me quite a bit. Don't need to really heal wounds, so now I just need to buy some more food. So 11 food by selling items, because I have a ring that gives me 2 food for every item I sold. I sold 5 items, that gave me 10. Next amount I 
I got one for the remaining four gold. Let's take this guy on. The angry guild Everything master. is light or darkness, and our prince straddles the borders. Hmm. Win this and claim my token. So I don't know if this is part of that DLC of the White Council, or if this is just something else I got for some other reason. As you travel the dark streets of Stiegel one night, an old man atop a mighty steed nearly knocks you down. Humbly apologize, steal from him. Let's just apologize. Out my way, peasant, he calls as he rides away. My daughter has run away from with a vagabond. Oh, yes, this is the continuation of the lover's card. So next time I see that guy, I will steal from him. And unfortunately, though, we've got more to do. And we'll have to do that in the next recording. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.